What's happening, hot wheelers? Welcome back to the Motor Hood. It's Joe Motor with you here, and uh, with time to look at another Tomica Limited Vintage. This is the LV79 Datsun Bluebird 1600 SSS Triple S, and it is a fantastic looking little piece here. So we're going to take a closer look at it. Now these pieces arrive from Japan, so when you, if and when you do order one of these pieces, you have to wait a little while. But man, once they get here it is not disappointing at all and um, I'm always excited when these things show up and I'm always kinda wishing I'd ordered more but uh, these are fantastic looking pieces I've had um, a couple of other of these pieces and I'll put a link to the other videos below I have a playlist for Tamika Limited Vintage and only have two other pieces this is my third one so eventually I hope to fill up a whole display case with Tamikas but they're not cheap um, you do have to pay a little extra for them and to get them here from Japan is is not the cheapest thing in the world but like I said they're not disappointing when you get them out of the package and it's always a thrill to get them so let's take a look at this dots and bluebird first I'll show you the box real quick just so you have an idea of the package and it comes in these really cool little matchbox style kind of pieces or little boxes here and I don't really keep my cards in them but they're still kind of a neat little uh, accessory so you can see the um, artist rendition of it there and then here's the full title of it and the sort of drawing of it and then there's other stuff here which I you know I can't read a word of uh, but they certainly do their homework and they get all the licensing done correctly and um, when it comes to the detailing and the molding and the casting of this piece it is just something else I just can't even describe to you so we're gonna look at it take a look at the side here with the white wall tires really beautiful uh, classy kind of looking piece in this sort of candy orange, very citrus orange color here. I'll show you up close here so you can see it says Bluebird right here on the side above the front tire. If I can get it up close enough, it's tiny. You could just barely read it there. And uh, that's just the kind of detail you don't see that often. And the tires are really, really nice. Those wheels, spoked wheels, are really beautiful nice nice chrome trim here you've got the door handles and a keyhole and going on the way back same detail on the rear tire and you have what looks to be maybe a Datsun logo here I can't tell it's so tiny really really nice right there going to the back we have the chrome bumper and the lens tail lights which um, if you're not familiar with lens tail lights they're not tampo they're not painted they're actually transparent plastic pieces that are assembled onto the piece. So that's just incredible detail for 164th scale. Some of the best you're ever going to see right there. M2 is also known for doing some lensing on their headlights and taillights. But Tamika just incredible job here. And you can also see the Bluebird insignia here on above the rear uh, taillight there. And then the keyhole for the trunk and on the left I, I'm assuming that says dots and again on the left but I can't tell it's tiny and I kinda wish there was a Japanese license plate on the back here to make it even more interesting and true to uh, Japan but uh, I'm not complaining it's still just a beautiful car so take a look at this up close we'll see the keyhole for the gas tank which is on a little different from the other side and there's some more insignia on the back and you have your uh, keyhole door handles just like the other side and uh, windshield wipers on the front and then uh, here's the other side which shows you the bluebird tampo so if I can get it to focus in there there we go see it's the bluebird very tiny and then let me show you the front end because the front end of these Tomikas is just hypnotizing and this beautiful lensed uh, headlights here the texture on the grill and the tiny tiny little insignia detail which I can't even read it's too small and that's the wonderful thing about some of these 164 scale is you've got to get up close to see all of the work and thought that went into these little pieces. So that's just fantastic. Hard to beat that right there. Let me show you the base while I'm on the subject here. You can see the it's all kind of blacked out here. Tomika shows you the name. Not too much detail, but I kind of like how it's just plain and simple. You've got your thin tires here, which are probably true to the factory version of the car. 
And then let me show the interior because it's probably one of the most remarkable things about the car. Look inside. See that two-tone? You've got a little bit of a cream, creamy tan and a dark brown interior with texture on the seats there. Just beautiful. Looks like you could sit right down and be comfortable. And then right here in the front you have your steering wheel of course and your gear shift console and your dashboard. Of course the steering wheel is on the opposite side since it's Japanese. And then even look on the on the back of the passenger and driver side. See that indentation on the headrest there? That's just wonderful detail. Really nice. Trying to keep the dust off so you can actually see inside there. But you just don't see detail like that very often. I'll show you the texture here on the back seat. All those little, what look to be sort of embroidered leather details. Very nice. You just can't say enough about these Tomica Limited Vintage cars. They just, they pop and they, when you look at them up close, they do not disappoint. You know, some 164th scale cars, they, they say they're detailed and then you look at them up close and it kind of starts to deteriorate. Well, not with Tomica. These cars are top notch and they're worth every penny if you're willing to you know pay for them and wait the couple of weeks it takes for them to to show up so uh, I'm totally impressed with this and would recommend anybody who's interested in purchasing one of these to, to check it out you can also look at the Lamley blog which is um, which shows a lot of pictures they have a fantastic collection of Tomeka and are really enthusiastic about Tomeka I'll put a link in the description below it's L-A-M-L-E-Y you can Google that and check out their blog if you haven't already. Um, really great website to check out. So anyway, that's the Tomica Limited Vintage LV79 Dotson Bluebird 1600 Triple S. I hope you enjoyed checking it out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.